What's up guys, it's Jacob Randall Holmes. And if you're new here, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for showing back up. Today, I've got a different type of video for you. Recently, I was on the market for a used camera, a very special used camera, one that's outside of the normal brand that I shoot with. And when you're searching for used camera gear, typically you will swing by B&H, you'll swing by Adorama, you'll check your favorite local camera store. But for this specific camera, I had to search far and wide and get outside of my comfort zone camera sales website. So that led me to a new website that I typically don't use, mpb.com. And no, this video is not sponsored by mpb.com, but I did end up purchasing something from them. And I just have to say, MPB has a very goofy way that they rate their used gear. Let me actually pull it up for you. Okay, so here we go. We have excellent, good, well used, heavily used spares and repairs. Their rating system is kind of all over the place, but I recently ordered something from MPB. And let me tell you, purchasing this camera was a whole array of emails. Fun fact, the original camera that I ordered started malfunctioning when it was being tested before it was sent to me. So my body that I ordered from them is a condition grade of good, and it had a shutter count of $62,705, but it was almost $100 cheaper than what I originally paid. $62,000, it still basically got two thirds of the camera's shutter life. So I thought, what the heck, let's try it. Let's see what MPB has got for, you, for us. All right, so this is officially my first ever MPB unboxing. We'll see what condition, oh, Cut away from yourself. We'll see in what condition my good camera body is actually in. We'll see how reliable that rating system is because quite frankly, I like b &H's eight minus eight plus open box. That's very easy to understand. I've ordered nines, I've ordered nine pluses, I've ordered eight pluses, and I've never had an issue with the finish on a lens or anything like that. So I'm not really concerned, okay. Did I show my address? I did not show my address, thank goodness. All right, so you have the MPB box and boom, you have got your paper right here. And oh, my item is actually in a smaller MPB box. So we'll put this on the floor. What could it be? I wonder what it could be. So. So far, um, I gotta say MPB, your packaging is arguably better than what B&H's stuff ships in. Uh, oh, I don't actually even need the knife anymore to open this. It's got a little pull tab right there. So let's open that up. All right, and here we go. It's open. Uh, gotta get that MPB promotion in there. Thank you, MPB, for getting it here. We have tissue paper. We have more tissue paper. Oh, that's right. I forgot, your camera is gonna ship with a charger and a battery. What did MPB give me? Third party battery in pretty beat up shape, but whatever, it's all good. All right, and here we go. This is the moment of truth. I'll let you see it before I do, pulling it out of here. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. This thing is heavy. This thing is huge. All right, what did I get? What did I get? What do you think I got? Also, I have, I have a video that I'm gonna release about the camera that I purchased and why I purchased this camera because this camera is quite, this is very funny. This camera is quite different than the typical thing that I shoot with. Definitely not with typically kicking around my Nanook roller bag. It's almost there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a Nikon? Is it gonna be a Fuji? Is it gonna be a Canon? Yes, it is going to be a Canon. All right, so this is my first look at this thing. And it's a little dark in here, but the front of the camera looks in good shape. It's good. Top of it. I'm seeing no scratches on the top of it. The screen is looking nice. That's a nice looking screen right there. And the back of it, there's a couple little scratches there. That's a little frustrating, but I can deal with that. 
None of the buttons appear to have any kind of like rattle or anything like that. Everything is working and our dial works nicely. Opening up our little SD card door. Oh, well not SD card, CF Express door. And boom, there you go. MPB.com, the good rating. Cosmetically, this thing is in great shape. Like I was, I've bought used cameras before that are in much worse shape than this. Like this isn't too bad. I like that. I'll take it. Nice job, MPB. My purchase was. I'm always one step behind. Wishing I could read your mind, but I'm ready. Yeah, never ready. That's right, the Canon 5D Mark II, the first consumer prosumer DSLR to shoot video with a Canon full frame sensor, the Canon color science before it got all not as good as Sony, and a 21 megapixel sensor. What can I say? This thing's gonna be fine. 62,000 on the shutter count, so it's got two thirds of its life. I'm excited about it. Moment of truth, I wonder if there's any juice in the battery they sent. I'm sure they have to test the batteries before they send them. Oh, oh look at that. She lives, she lives. Let me go grab my, uh, oh, sensor cleaning. No card, would you look at that? She lives, she lives. That is such a nice cool sound. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's like really killing me to not like run to Best Buy right now and pick up a nifty 50 to play with this guy. I have a lens coming. I also bought the lens for this guy from another company that I've never bought from before. So I'm really anxious to see if they do as well as MPB did. I have a functioning DSLR. I like that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little unusual unboxing video of a used camera. I don't usually do content like this, but I have a lot of plans for this camera coming up and I'm really excited to show it to you. Anyway guys, remember if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for showing up. It really helps. I appreciate you so, so much. Also remember, I've got a lot of exciting new content coming this month, every week in July, weekly videos for the rest of the summer. I cannot wait to show you the new video content that I've got in store. It's exciting. It's different. It showcases me as a composer, and I'm really excited for you to see it. Anyways, have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm always one step behind. Wishing I could read your mind, but I'm ready. Yeah, never ready. I wish I could have made it stop. The first time that you stood me up, I wasn't ready.